I have got five minutes, Jasper, is that correct? That's, no, you've got 10 minutes, go for it. Okay, great. Right, when you are sitting with a situation of cancer, um, as was mentioned last week, we have to look back at what the cause is so that we can come up with a solution. So the biggest cause of cancer we discovered was actually stress. So you begin initially to focus on how you can manage it. Um, and that alone is like weeks and weeks of seminars, just looking at the way you can look at life differently, handle life differently. I've just jotted a few down here. Um, associate with uplifting environments and events. Believe in yourself. Uh, avoid negative and toxic people. There are some people that drain you. You need to avoid them. You have one life. And if somebody or some people in your life drain you or break you down, it's time you look after yourself. At the same time, forgive people. To harbor a grudge is also toxic for the person who harbors the grudge. Your home is your haven. Make sure it is peaceful. Make sure when you come home, it is your escape. And those walks, go for those walks. Very important, do the job you like to do. Avoid people who drain you or leech off you or who do not believe in you. And stay around good friends and family. And unsolved issues. No more selective TV. How stressed do you get watching TV? And if you really do your homework on that, you'll find a very large portion of it is manipulated news. Why are you watching it? Be the same with the newspapers. Be selective on what you watch. This is your health you're talking about. You cannot carry the stress of the world on you. Be selective. Move on and get past those issues. Now, those are mainly your stress ones, and there's a lot more that can go into the stress. Um, but now we're going to look at the dietary changes. I've heard of a number and many, and I've also be, walked with some people who have decided to take the health into their own hands. And from the day that they take on these new healthy lifestyles to cure themselves from cancer, they never really go back to their old diet because it's actually a lifestyle change. Now, one of the first things you can do is a detox. Now, this is quite a potent one. I've done about a seven-day juicing detox. Um, you could see it in my skin, my face. People were saying, what on earth have you done? It is one of the most incredible detoxes you can do. If you have cancer, 21-day detox is critical. Start off, you juice everything. There are a lot on the internet if you want to find out how to do this. Then, actually, it's more than 60% of water. Your body is predominantly water. Now, if you can imagine what a little pond looks like if it never gets... Uh, flushed out with fresh water. That's what your body looks like if you don't keep drinking fresh water to keep your body hydrated and keep the water flowing through your body. When you are well hydrated, you're getting rid of those free radicals, which is actually the cause of cancer. You're removing toxins and your body has a chance to live at its up utmost. And especially when you are on a health uh, trip like this, it's not the two liters of water do four liters a day. Then the next very important thing is your alkaline diet. Cancer does not survive in an alkaline environment. And most people, if you do an alkaline or acid test, you'll find you're acidic. Now, to be acidic means you eat probably meat, fish or chicken, probably every day, every second day. And you have quite a bit carbs, processed carbs, those all will create an acidic environment. And it creates the environment you need to grow cancer. So whether you have cancer or not, to get your body to an alkaline state is really the healthiest thing. Now, some of the things you can do this, do to do this, is you reduce your meat, chicken, and fish, if you can, to twice a week, once a week. The more you reduce it, the more quickly your body will go alkaline. And your breakfast to start off just with fruit till midday, salads at lunchtime. And following that routine, you will actually get your body alkaline probably in something five to six weeks. Eating like that, you'll get your body alkaline. Avoid the following. Dairy. This is when you're getting over your uh, cancer. 
you can introduce all or most of these afterwards again. Dairy, sugar, pasta, rice, potatoes, board juices. Board juices, if you have to choose between a board juice and a Coke, your Coke is healthier. Board juices are so excessively acidic, they go straight into your joints. They are absolutely lethal. Unless they're the freshly squeezed board juices, you should not use board juices. Processed food is lethal. Fizzy drinks, wheat, or bread, artificial sweetness, all meats while in recovery stage. They can be reintroduced later. It must be free range organic. You need oxygen rich treatment. And in that, you either can invest in some cell food or you go very green in your um, foods. Cancer dies off in oxygen. So if you want to go and Google that, you can actually watch some videos where they've actually videoed a treatment of a cancer a cellular uh, uh, injection where they inject the oxygen into the cancer and you watch it shrivel up. So cancer cannot survive in an oxygen-rich environment. Right, your vitamin C is also so important, both for heart and for your cancer. You're talking 2,000 milligrams minimum a day. So get your vitamins up. And just to let you know, healthy people do not get cancer. If you are having your supplements and you're eating healthily and you're controlling your stress, you will not get cancer. So don't snub those vitamins. Those vitamins will keep your system very strong and very healthy. We get to your tumors, B17. The cheapest source of that is an apricot pip. Break it up and there is a little seed inside, a little pip, looks like a little nut. You eat three or four of those a day. It's B17, it will wipe out tumors. Bicarbonate of soda, that helps to alkali the body. But just remember, don't drink the bits at the bottom of the glass because those little bits do not dissolve and they will actually stay embedded in your stomach wall and can be a problem. Bicarbonate of soda is good to a point, but it will really only alkalize in the stomach area. Your breathing, very important. If you breathe, focus on your breathing. Breathe in for four seconds. You hold for 11. If you want to gain energy, you breathe in for four. You hold for 16. Out for eight. You breathe deliberately and deeply. Oxygen is taken in as you exhale. So focus on inhaling and exhaling. And that is also a major de-stress technique. Now, SEACT um, is also absolutely brilliant. The lady who discovered this was not allowed to sell it because the powers that be um, said she hadn't proven it worked. So she had to give that tea away and helped cure thousands of people. That you can get at most health shops. Calcium, very important. Keep your calcium levels up. Your raw food, I like to call it live food. Your, your raw food is that food you put in your plate that has not been cooked or processed in any way. And if you can eat 70 or 80% of your plate via raw food, you, your body's going to thank you more than you realize. Your oxygen or ozone therapy, we have discussed that. And then also vitamin E. Those are your basics. Your body, if it is getting all the supplements it needs, will not be weak. If you're having your vitamin B uh, complex to handle and assist you with stress, that's going to help you. So there's so many ways, but healthy lifestyle and handling your stress are your major, major helps. So your environment, lifestyle changes are critical and your spiritual rest restoration is critical. One of the things that the Bible says 365 times is fear not. And I went through a process where I spent a whole day and wrote down every single fear I had. And I had to realize in every single fear that I had, I was saying, sure, Father, you can't cope with that. You can't help me with that. And that is such a slap in the Father's face. So get your spiritual walk right. Get to know the Father. And in that, your stress levels are going to be reduced drastically when you stop fearing life and what might happen. I think that is everything, people. I hope that has uh, given you some information to work with.